so so let me first bring it to a concrete example that most people can relate to. Sure. And, and then we can get to the science because all the research shows that that's we learn by doing. Really, the insight is we learn by doing. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's let's say, for example, the classic, the person who won't delegate, the micromanager control freak. So they know in their head that the right answer is to delegate and empower people. So you know what the right answer is. So it's not a matter of finding the right answer and then just executing, just implementing your steps to a better delegator. You know what it is, but the minute it matters, you see is control and you micromanage. The fact of the matter is the issue is that you're, the real mindset behind that behavior, what your experience has taught you, what's made you successful is being a control freak. You're convinced, you know that your work is better when you do it yourself. And so that's ultimately why you don't do or why you don't execute on the right answer. How do you fix that? You have to take some small steps that actually get you success or more success with delegating. And that's harder. So what I found in my research is if you actually get people, forget about the delegation, actually get them focused on what are some things outside your immediate area that are exciting that you want to work on. And as soon as they have something else more interesting that they want to do, that they really want to do in their gut, they delegate so easily because it's in their own interest. And then they realize, they see the positive, and then they do more of it, and you're on a virtuous cycle, but they have acted their way into a new way of thinking about delegation, as opposed to just it being a superficial, in-my-head thing that keeps me from from doing what we know the right answer is.